a mysterious interstellar object discovered in July 25 and hurtling toward our sun at nearly 60 kilometers per second is defying every prediction. 3. I slash Atlas isn't just bigger and brighter than astronomers expected. It's changing fast, outshining models while still over 300 million kilometers from the sun. Only two interstellar visitors have ever crossed our skies before, but neither lit up like this nor triggered such debate. As its brightness soars and the science community scrambles to explain the anomaly, one question grows more urgent. What is causing 3i slash Atlas to glow with such unexpected power? And what will it reveal as it races deeper into our solar system? When the Atlas survey in Chile flagged a fast-moving object in July 2025, the first orbital calculations sent a ripple through the Atlas team. The numbers didn't belong to anything local. Eccentricity greater than one, well above the threshold for a solar system body, meant this object wasn't coming back. Its path is hyperbolic, the mathematical signature of an interstellar traveler. And the speed sealed it, nearly 60 kilometers per second, relative to the Sun, far beyond what gravity alone could have given it from any planet or Kuiper Belt origin. Within hours, Dr. Natali Reyes and colleagues at ATLAS cross-checked against the Minor Planet Center's database. No match. The Minor Planet Center issued a circular, confirmation that this was only the third time in history astronomers had caught an object on a one-way trip through our solar system. The orbit never closes. Instead, it slices through the plane of the planets, a trajectory plotted by JPL Horizons that stretches out to infinity never curving back. This is not a comet from the Oort cloud. It's a visitor from another star, moving too fast and on too open a path to ever be captured by the sun's pull. Every new observation locks in the numbers. Eccentricity well above one, velocity steady at 60 kilometers per second, and a discovery date that will stand out in the logbooks, July 2025, the moment the solar system gained another fleeting guest. Oumuamua arrived first, back in 2017, a needle-shaped object from another star system, tumbling through the inner solar system at nearly 90,000 kilometers per hour. It left astronomers puzzled. No coma, no dust, no gas. Despite every telescope pointed its way, Oumuamua stayed stubbornly quiet, reflecting sunlight with a reddish hue but never growing a tail. Its trajectory was hyperbolic, like 3i slash Atlas, but its behavior was more like a bare rock than any comet. Some called it an asteroid, others wondered if it was something else entirely. Then came Borisov in 2019, blazing a much more familiar path. Borisov looked and acted like a classic comet, developing a bright coma and a sweeping tail, its spectrum dominated by carbon monoxide and cyanide. The activity was steady, the chemistry exotic, but nothing out of bounds for a comet from the Oort cloud. It was the first interstellar visitor to behave like a comet, not an asteroid. Now, with 3i slash Atlas, the script is changing again. Its coma is not only enormous, but chemically distinct, showing high levels of carbon dioxide and a green glow from C2 molecules. The brightness is rising much faster than Borisov's, and behaving nothing like Oumuamua's flat profile. Instead of fitting neatly into the categories set by its predecessors, 3i slash Atlas is carving out a space somewhere in between, a hybrid with the unpredictable activity of a comet and the wild, unbound trajectory of a true interstellar wanderer. Each new data point is forcing astronomers to rethink what these visitors can be. Within weeks of discovery, Global observers noticed something off. Instead of following the gentle, predictable rise in brightness that astronomers mapped out from day one, 3i slash Atlas started to leap ahead. By mid-September, its apparent magnitude had hit 12, a full step brighter than models predicted for this distance from the sun. That's not a subtle shift. In cometary terms, a one magnitude jump means more than doubling in brightness, and here the change happened almost overnight. Between September 7th and 15th, 
the COBS database and amateur logs worldwide recorded a sudden spike with green dots on the light curve chart veering away from every theoretical line. Some observers scrambled to check their equipment, wondering if a new filter or a wider aperture could explain the anomaly, but the trend held across continents and telescopes. The usual suspects, distance, phase angle, exposure time, couldn't account for a surge this sharp. What's powering this runaway glow? That question is echoing through astronomy forums and professional circles alike, as every new data point only deepens the mystery. The coma of 3I slash Atlas now stretches nearly 700,000 kilometers across, about half the width of the Sun. But it's not just size that's drawing astronomers in. Since mid-September, a vivid emerald glotewao has started to dominate the images, visible in both professional and amateur photographs. Michael Yeager, after driving hundreds of kilometers for clear skies, captured the first stacked exposures that confirmed the green color on September 17th. That glow isn't cosmetic, it's a chemical fingerprint. The green comes from C2, diatomic carbon molecules, energized as sunlight breaks apart organic compounds in the coma. At the same time, JWST spectra show that carbon dioxide is unusually abundant, far more so than in most solar system comets. This CO2 dominance, paired with the C2 emission, suggests a cocktail of super-volatile ices and organic material, likely preserved since before the comet left its original star system. The result is a coma that's not only vast, but chemically exotic evolving in real time as new layers of ice and dust are exposed to solar radiation. Every image, every spectrum, is revealing a physical process that's as alien as the object's origin. Photometry for 3i slash Atlas is turning into a battleground, not just a measurement. The magnitude jumps, especially that sharp leap in early September, aren't always what they seem. Some of the most dramatic changes line up almost perfectly with observers switching from small, nucleus-focused apertures to much larger ones that scoop up more of the sprawling coma. When you stack images or use a wider aperture, the measured brightness can jump by 0.2 to 0.4 magnitudes, enough to mimic a physical outburst. Analysts digging through the raw submissions on COBS and the Minor Planet Center have flagged these step-like increases, then traced them back to observer logs showing new filters, different sky backgrounds, or even just a shift in how the sky was subtracted. Global recalibration efforts are underway, with teams trying to standardize every data point to the same aperture and field star calibration. The goal is to separate true comet activity from artifacts of technique. Until the data are fully uniform, the debate is wide open. Is 3i slash Atlas really breaking the rules, or are we just seeing the limits of our own measurements? October 3rd brings a rare close pass by Mars. Just a quarter of an astronomical unit separates 3i slash Atlas from the red planet. Teams at NASA and ESA scramble to align Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter's HERIS camera, hoping for the sharpest images yet from a front row seat. This is a one-shot window. After Mars, the comet races towards superior conjunction on October 21st, slipping behind the Sun and vanishing from Earth's view. By October 29th, it reaches perihelion, but for ground-based telescopes, time is nearly up. Every hour matters as mission planners coordinate their final observations before the comet disappears into solar glare. Something unexpected is happening in the latest images. Instead of a classic tail streaming away from the sun, a faint streamer appears to point directly back toward it, a sunward anti-tail. This isn't an illusion from camera tricks or stacking artifacts. Multiple amateur astronomers using different telescopes and filters are reporting the same odd geometry. Plasma models suggest that dust grains, larger and slower to react to solar wind, can linger along the comet's orbital plane, creating this reversed effect when viewed from Earth's perspective. For many, it's a visual puzzle that defies what textbooks promise. The mechanics behind this anti-tail are still being debated, but every new image adds to the sense that 
3i slash Atlas is rewriting the rules of comet behavior. Earth's orbit will sweep through the faint debris left by 3i slash Atlas in 2026, sparking everything from mainstream meteor forecasts to wild speculation about interstellar artifacts. Avi Loeb's team even proposes sending a probe, hoping to catch a fragment from another star. In July 2025, Atlas detected three Wyomated slash Atlas racing into the solar system at nearly 60 kilometers per second. In just weeks, its brightness surged to magnitude 12, over twice as bright as models predicted for its distance. Images from ground-based observatories, Hubble, and the James Webb Space Telescope confirmed a green coma and an expanding envelope half the size of the sun. Yet the rapid brightening and the strange anti-tail pointing toward the sun defy current comet science. Despite hundreds of data points from the Comet Observation Database and amateur astronomers, scientists remain divided. Some blame observational error, while others point to unique interstellar chemistry. What is certain? 3. I slash Atlas is his only the third confirmed interstellar object, and its behavior challenges established categories. As it nears perihelion on October 29th and disappears behind the sun, critical questions about its origin, composition, and future dust trail remain. For now, every observation is a rare glimpse into the unknown, pushing the boundaries of what we know about visitors from other stars.